Hi, my name is Camelia Akami Keys, and this is Akami Music. So, today we are going to talk about the differences between the DW9000 and the DW2000. I mean, the DW9000 obviously is way more expensive than the DW2000. So, you're looking at them and if you don't know too much about pedals, you're wondering, is it worth it to get um, the DW9000? And I mean, if you want to spend the money, it's over $300 and um, yeah, it's a bit on the pricey side, but it's it's definitely worth it. Uh, the DW2000 is going to be a little, you know kind of like an entry level beginner type of pedal. Um, I use the 2000 for more um, just kind of percussion, uh, foot mounting percussion stuff. So I didn't really need a big DW9000 for that. As you can see, the plate is a little bit um, not as hefty as the DW9000. Um, the DW9000 is known for its like smooth gravity defying action, you know, it's like, it's a single pedal, but it has like a floating rotor, uh, that's not permanently affixed on a conventional drive shaft, but it's mounted on a free floating drive shaft using friction reducing ball bearings. So it's, it's pretty amazing. And, um, on the DW2000, you you just you just don't get that the chain is kind of a single chain and um it's just you know it's it's just kind of there uh later on i'll go through and i'll actually play on both of them and you'll be able to kind of see and hear the differences so now we're gonna look a little closer at the dw2000 single kick pedal So some of the features are it's a single chain and sprocket design. So it also has an offset turbo cam and it's pretty fast and responsive. It has a steel base plate and provides a sturdy foundation. So I really like that about the pedal. Um, One thing I don't like is that to attach it to the um, bass drum, you have to use a drum key. Um, But other than that, it's a solid pedal. Um, there's a bearing spring rocker assembly ensures a smooth recovery. There's also adjustable, um, sprockets, little spikes that you can, um, you know, really dig in on the the carpet so you don't have to worry about it moving. And I mean, for the price, it's like a hundred bucks. You can't beat it. And you got the DW, um, name behind it. So it's a, it's a great buy. Now looking over at the DW 9000, I've had this pedal for like, over 10 years and it's just amazing it's over 300 dollars, but it's totally worth it it's beautiful pedal it's very responsive it you can just really feel the smooth and the smoothness and 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 it hitting the the drum or the cajon and it's just really fun to play and like i mentioned i've been playing it for years and it's my go-to pedal you know don't have to worry about any like weird sounds or clicking. The the base plate of it is just so well made. It's wide. And I I love it and I appreciate what DW has done to sustain and make such an amazing pedal. The 2000 works too. I would have no problem taking that one out on gigs and feeling confident in its ability. But, you know, if you're if you have the extra money to spend, go with a 9000. But a 2000 is a great pedal. Like I mentioned, the only thing I didn't like about the 2000 was uh, the attachment. It was kind of annoying. You got to have a drum key to attach the um, the pedal to the um, to the bass drum. So, but so here's the 2000. I'm playing it, and um, yeah, I'm able to get some doubles out of it, and uh, it's no issues at all. No issues at all. Like, I would have no problem taking this out on a gig. Um, but it, yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's go on to the DW9000.
this is an amazing pedal. It's it's smooth. It just it's and it's really fun to play. It just it's it's like effortless, and and uh, you can just see how how fun and easy it is to kind of go back and forth. So here I am playing both the DW is on my right, and I'm using it as my dominant, and then I'm using the Crasher a DW9000 on my left, which typically I'll have it other way, but it just goes to let you know you can do it either way and it feels fine. Very, very nice feel on it. So enjoy the rest of the, the video and uh, I'll come back on and do a little review um, towards the end. But yeah, if you're on a budget, go with the 2000. If you have the extra money, go with the 9000. I also play the 5000 and that one's great too. Have a wonderful day. God bless. So here I am playing both pedals, the DW9000 and the DW2000, and I'm not going to tell you which is on the right or left foot because, I mean, for this particular beat, you really can't tell. I can only really tell, like, I'm playing on a 9000 or 2000 if I'm doing, like, singles, um, like, uh, 16th notes pretty quick on, uh, on the... 2000 or the 9000 you can kind of feel the difference there but for the most part it's it's a solid pedal and um yeah it's it's a good buy 2000 or 9000 they're they're all great d that the name dw is what really um sets the standard really to comment down below um, which pedal you would get the DW9000 or the DW2000 Okay, so if you're thinking about getting uh, some DW pedals, this is a lower model. This is a DW2000. After the 2000, I think there's a 3000. I don't think they make the 7000 anymore. I have the top notch DW9000. Okay, so you might wonder what's the difference. I also, in my house, I have a DW5000 as well. So, okay. What's the difference between the 2000, 7000, 3000, and all the different DW pedals? It's just quality, you know? If you take a look at this one, right, right there, see the chain difference in the DW2000 to the 7000. See, that, that chain is gonna give you a little more direct uh, power for your kick, you know? So at, I usually use like, um, 2000s on cowbells but when I'm using my kick drum I like to have like in the house on my kick drum I have a 5000 and then on my other one I usually use a 9000 for this video I'm just using some basic stuff um, but yeah it's just um, I would say if you're on a budget get a DW2000 and it, you'll play it fine you don't got to break the bank on pedals so yeah Learn on a, on a 2000 and then, you know, make the jump to a 9000. So that, those are my thoughts on a DW, uh, DW bass drum pedals. I love them all though. Um, they all serve a purpose, but like I mentioned, uh, I like a 9000 on my kick drum and a 2000 on like the side stuff. So, yeah. So.
but it's all about kind of the chain, the chain drive, and you can adjust the stuff here, you know, so. Yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Have a wonderful day. God bless.